If you can't tell, I'm doing some testing today with my Bonneville two-stroke. And I fitted it. Though That's the uh, late-style Monte Carlo carburetor setup with the uh, 34W-2 carbs. And I'm uh, having a little trouble just because my engine's so radical, making everything work right. But my primary goal here is I've got triple exhaust pipes. There's two there and one out the bottom. And I'm, I'm checking air-fuel ratio. I know from running Sonic carburetors that this center cylinder is going to run really lean um, with when you run triple exhaust. And you can actually see I've got three air-fuel ratio gauges in the car. And I'll try to post a picture of that online with this video. But uh, it just confirmed what I thought. Uh, you know, this carburetor is running... Um, I've got 10 points difference. I've got a, a 145s on the outer and 155 on the middle. And uh, my middle is running very lean. Um, you know, probably by two, uh, two points. It's a little lean in general right now. I'm about 15 to 1 on the outers, but I'm 17 to 1 on the center. So I'm really lean on that center. And that's... I, I did run a test with a 20 different. I put a 165 in here. And again, 145s on the outers. And then I'm too rich in the center. So I think a 15 degree raise in your jet size. So if you're running a one, say 20 here, you should be running a 135 there. And, and uh, coincidence has it, that's what Saab ran from the factory on the latest style manifold they put out the door. I've got some NOS engines and they have this part number here of a 732007 is the is the number there on the manifold the 35 or the 34w-2 carbs and uh 15 point spread you can see all the openings in here and you're robbing a ton of air out of that center cylinder and the sonnet setup isn't quite the same it's it's sonnets more like this but we found 15 point difference with our sonnets when we put the triple carbs on we had had every now and then you know a blow up at bonneville and it's always the number two cylinder Sounds familiar, right? Because that's what everyone out racing and driving the two strokes typically has the center cylinder go bad. And I've always tried to go five points higher in the center. And uh, I think my testing's proving so far you need to go 15 higher. I'll do more tests with all these carburetors and get everything out online eventually. But uh, for right now, and there's, there's some jets we're using to mix up with and do stuff. But we'll, we'll be testing all of them. Um, but I know the uh, Sonnet setup definitely runs lean. I know the early or the late Monte Carlo, I just ran it, it runs lean. So again, 15 points higher is I think what's going to be a good number to uh, jet your carburetors. Um, that's, you know, more than I used to do for sure. But uh, the triple pipes really don't lie. The only variable I don't have on in this test, and I don't have an air cleaner on, um, just due to the, you know, the way everything's set up, I'm not able to do it. And that's why I want to put it back. I'm going to run a 96 that's not been heavily modified. Um, and I've got an extra set of triple pipes I'll put on that and run it and see if we can't get a little better idea of some test results for everybody. But again, I think for now, if it was me, I'm going to start running 15 points higher in my center cylinder, 15 higher on my main jet. So if I've got, again, a 125 here on my outers, I'm going to go... Uh, one third or 140 in the middle so 15 15 points higher this is tom donnie from fort dodge iowa signing off